politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Well, my name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and I'm back with another round of stories making headlines in the country. Now, the family of billionaire Gordon Wavamuno has started investigating the source of false reports regarding his death. On Monday this week, reports indicated that uh, the big man Wavamuno had died in Germany. However, it was later learned that um, he was still alive. Now, the family says the moment they confirm the person who started circulating the information that the big man had died, they are going to take him or her to the courts of law. Apparently, Gordon Wavamuno is in Germany still receiving treatment. Well, right here on the Buzz UG, we continue to wish him a very quick recovery. Now, earlier today, Uganda police blocked traffic on the Kampala Expressway over terrorism fears. According to police, there was an investigation going on by the police bomb squad. However, police have revealed that uh, there was no bomb found. The suspicious object was removed and uh, the highway opened for the public to use. Now, His Excellency Bobby Wine is in studio recording another banker and uh, this is expected to keep on the struggle of liberation from President Museveni's government. Well, Bobby Wine yesterday posted a picture of himself in studio and captioned, If music be food of love, play on. Uh, that is a William Shakespeare. Of course, his supporters are very happy and they can't wait to listen to this one very soon. Now, Uganda police has arrested a group of female activists as they demonstrated over the continued detention of political prisoners, in particular their husbands. They say it's meaningless to celebrate the International Women's Day today amidst challenges women are facing in this country. Your name? My name is Liz Nyanzi. I'm a woman who is mourning because of what's happening in our country. Women are not being cared for. The, faci the facilities in hospitals when we go to give birth are hard. When we try to look for money, KCCA comes for us. Why are we suffering in our own country? There is no time to celebrate. The Women's Day should be to arise, for women to be strong. But why are women in Uganda suffering? Why are we crying each and every day? Women in Karamoja are dying. Children in Karamoja are dying because there is no one to care for them. We have a lot of ministers who are women. We have a lot of members of parliament. But why are we crying in Uganda? We are talking about our husbands that are in jail. Where haven't they been? Why, why isn't their freedom being given to them? We all know they have been arrested for no reason. Why are they still in jail? What is the crime? Uganda police, what is the crime? All those security agencies that are kidnapping husbands of women, leaving young mothers suffering with children, education, everything is too hard for a mother. Why are we celebrating Women's Day with this situation? Why, as women of Uganda, we are standing up to say no. There is no happiness in Uganda for women. There is nothing we are celebrating. And the government of Uganda has failed us. They have failed us. Our fathers are in jail. Our friends are brothers. What is the reason for their arrest? Why isn't justice being served yet? Why are women in pain and the government that we gave our vote each and every time is not minding? We are sad and we are angry. So we stand up as women in Uganda saying we are tired. The government of Uganda has failed us. The women that are in those positions, the prime minister, the, the, the minister for Karamoja, all those women have failed us. Instead of saving communities, they are sharing what should be given to the poor. You're already stealing enough. Stop. We are now done with begging. We are done with pleading. We stand up, all women you see here, of different colors, of different sizes, of different ages, are here to demonstrate to the whole world. Come and see what's happening in Uganda. We are not happy. We are suffering as mothers. Young mothers giving birth at a young age. When you're growing, the education is expensive. Food, 
the prices of everything, sugar, tomatoes.